So for this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to utilize your Samsung mobile phone to do astrophotography. So for this video, all I'll be using is a Samsung S22 Ultra and a mobile phone tripod that was picked up from Kmart. So the first thing you want to do is ensure that you're traveling to an area with as minimal light pollution as possible. Um, the next thing you want to ensure is um, that you're in a clear and cloudless night. So for that, I use an app called AccuWeather, which has a live radar system, so I can check um, how much cloud is out on that evening to determine that I can go out there and get the best results. Um, another thing you want to ensure is the phases of the moon. So you want to ensure that when you're going out for photos that the moon is either below the horizon or that it's closest to its new moon phase as possible so its light isn't affecting your photos. Um, the other thing I utilize is an app called Stellarium. So that app I utilize to determine the best times for me to go out to be able to target what I want to take for my photos. So what I'll do is I'll go through a quick demonstration on how to utilize that app. In the Stellarium app, the first thing I'm going to do is use the search function to find Antares. The reason I've searched for Antares as a target for my photo is the Milky Way and can use Antares as a guide to identify the Milky Way. Once I've selected and found Antares, I'm going to click on the bottom right hand corner to adjust the time till I can see the image I wish to capture. As you can see in the app at the moment, the best time for me to go out to capture the Milky Way is at 2am. I've also ensured using the AccuWeather app that is a clear and cloudless night and perfect for me to go out and take this photo. Now I'm going to demonstrate how to use the camera. Once the phone has been set up on the tripod and ready to take an image, open up the camera app. The first thing you want to do is select the more option on the right hand side. Once the additional options have appeared, select the pro option. Firstly, select WB, which is your white balance. This refers to the color temperature of the image. Adjust the dial to 4300, which I've found to be a good setting for astrophotography. Next, select the speed option, which relates to your shutter speed. How long the camera sensors are exposed to light, set to 30 seconds. And then the final step before taking the photo, select the ISO option, which is the camera sensitivity to light. The brighter it is, the lower the ISO, the darker it is, the higher the ISO. So for this photo, we're going to max it out at 3200 as it's a low light setting. Now take the photo. You will have noticed there was an option for focus that I didn't touch. Set it to either automatic or infinite, depending on Samsung model, which is the only difference between the older models. After 30 seconds, we now have our photo. Now I will show you how to edit it. For the editing process, I'm going to use a free app called GIMP. Once we have selected and opened up the photo, we want to select the color options starting at curves and then move our way upwards through the other options. I'm not going to go in depth into this topic as you will be adjusting each option according to your own personal tastes. However, I will demonstrate in this video what I adjusted personally for my photos. Now you can see the difference in the two photos, the before and after editing. Well, I hope you found this video informative. Now time to reach for the stars.